there, welcome to Prime Time. I'm Paul Orford and I'm here with uh, one of our most popular contributors, Victoria Soltesh from Hi. PSP Angels. Hi. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one this one because, yeah. uh, well, we're about an hour away from the, the lockdown. So I thought I'd grab you beforehand and uh, <laughs> talk about how we're going to survive this. <laughs> so, I know, right? And we are not even wearing a mask, so it makes it even more dangerous. Yeah, right. <laughs> so what we're looking to discuss today, uh, money is the lifeblood of all businesses. So in a situation where we've got at the moment, you're going to get companies who are probably going to have credit problems or the movement of money or just how would you keep your business afloat in time of crisis in a place like this? Unfortunately, after the lockdown, that uh, I get a, many, a lot of phone calls from my brick and mortar clients mm. and they say that they are forced uh, to shut down their businesses for one and a half months, mm. which means that they cannot actually uh, generate any income mm. or they're, they cannot pay their uh, employees. So it's very, very important that, uh, that uh, they need to keep the business somehow alive. Now, what is the only way to still sell but don't meet face to face uh, anyone, then obviously you have to go online. And so many people that they don't really understand that uh, online business is a whole different ball game than selling uh, from a shop. So let's say, for instance, that you are um, uh, uh, working in a gym, right? All the gyms are closed. So as a personal trainer, how can you make sure that you don't meet the clients face to face, yet you are still generating income? Now, obviously, uh, the first uh, uh, step to do that is that uh, you set up a website and you start selling online. Now, if you're selling uh, services online, you automatically fall into the high risk category, which means that accepting card payments could be a trouble for you. So uh, then I, I expect uh, so many clients having a, a serious problem accepting credit card payments uh, for these uh, sales. And then unfortunately, it can actually take uh, a long time to set up a merchant account because usually the banks are checking all your uh, KYC documents or they are running a full due diligence on you so by the time you can actually have a website with a working payment accepting uh, uh, option on the site where I can go and pay with a card it can take up to a month mm. so I think there's gonna be a serious crisis uh, uh, here because unfortunately these people still cannot generate uh, income uh, as of tomorrow yeah everything when it's locked up that's the problem like the credit yeah. crisis before in 2008 this is where we got all the problems before i mean look exactly. i know it's a bit of an understatement to be interesting to see how it plays out you know yeah. we're saying this when the stock market's around the world we shouldn't laugh i guess but i mean you've got a laughing crisis i guess that haven't you but yeah it's everything is crashing around us you know are we going to go back to the old ways of cash you know where the, the global business maybe retracts so you do go to a more localized thing where bob's store over there for example he's gonna make more money than uh, a website is harder to get the funds across. Exactly, and I can see that obviously where the whereby there is less KYC still outside of EU is uh, is, is more in the in the cryptocurrency sphere. Mm -hmm. So I I expect personally uh, getting uh, some 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 good signals for the for the cryptocurrency trade because uh, more and more people realize that as things are, it might not be sustainable. Right? Uh, you mentioned cash again; it's face to face. Uh, so 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 that could be again a problem that I still need to meet clients and and, 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 and accept cash but on the other way uh, how to how to sustain a business how to get accepted uh, by the banks when my uh, my activities are, are automatically high risk what is the merchant going to do in these desperate times I expect a lot of people will reach towards the cryptocurrencies and accept payments online w via this way because basically opening opening a merchant account as a person mm. it's much more easier easier than going through the whole due diligence yeah. and the KYC of a bank. So then uh, I just uh, put my uh, wallet address and feel free to pay me for my uh, uh, personal training exercises or yoga videos or yeah. or uh, cooking classes mm -hmm. online. So so this is what I, I expect personally to happen. Because I guess they're not kind of high volume in transactions. Yeah. It's all quite simplistic. Exactly. Maybe you get, I don't know, 10, 20 people a month or something like that. It's a good month. That's right. But what about FX then, for example? How is this going to work out for them, do you think? Now, well, to be honest, I think I think there's going to be another problem because in these desperate times, people do not like to invest in higher risk operations. So they are reaching out to uh, uh, to break up their investment. Maybe uh, you know now the crisis is going to come. There's going to be some real suffer of the of the existing pension funds mm. or an existing uh, 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 investment in different broker houses. So so I think that uh, during these uh, 
crisis, we are tipping our toe to uh, to a serious uh, problems in the, in the stock market. As, as we can see, that uh, all the all the stock price is already mm. falling. So mm. this is definitely a time to buy. But will yeah. people buy? Because we don't really know how long how long our savings are going to keep us alive, yeah. right? So. Oh, that's a good question, though. Like. Where we were, you were here before in the banking crisis, I yes, guess. Yes, yeah. exactly. So it, since then, I've never had full confidence in the bank. You know, like in this situation here, there's many things which are duplicated. Exactly. You know, and we just need a little bit more fear, and then the usual Facebook science starts of like, oh yeah, I've heard a rumor that this bank is going down, and then you just see the line of people. Yes. And then the madness starts, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, so that's what I think, that, that people just don't have trust anymore. Mm. They don't have a trust in the system. Are yeah. they going to keep us alive? Mm. Is it healthy? Is it safe? If, if, if I'm going to the hospital right now with a broken bone, are they going to fix me really? Yeah. Uh, do they have enough supply? Because this is the biggest question nowadays. And it affects everything. It affects the, the, the financial market as well. It affects the banks. Do I trust the bank? No. Do I trust the system? No. So that's why I think that uh, people will reach out more and more to the some com, some kind of system whereby you don't need to trust anyone mm -hmm. because the system uh, checks itself and 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 that's where I see the the distributed ledger technology coming up not necessarily the blockchain but 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 all these systems whereby you don't need trust because the yeah. system automates itself that's a real good point about trust I think the less humans you have involved in these transactions that's right the more likely you can be sustained exactly. you know and it's uh, maybe even, it's a bit of a shot in the dark, but maybe banks are kind of outdated now anyway, you know, like you go into a room, you hand over some paper yeah. and you, you, tr you trust they're not going to lose it or do something completely stupid. Exactly. <laughs> you know I mean, the dude at the back who's traded it always probably massively in debt or on cocaine or something. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's that's very right. Mm. And, and and unfortunately, you know, the business does not stop. So mm. so you still need to buy bread from mm. the shop and you still need to drive the car and you still need to get from A to B. So so the money will move. Mm. The money will find on its own ways how to move around if yeah. there are restrictions uh, from, from other aspects. But also I was told again the other day by someone who's informed, should we say, someone posted on Facebook and other words. Yeah. <laughs> like, first of all, it's like, get as much physical cash as you can. Yeah. And it was like, put it all back in the bank because you're transmitting the virus on money. So what are you supposed to do? I mean, seriously, <laughs> come on, yeah. give me a break. Exactly. And, 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 and the main problem is that, OK, if you withdraw a significant amount of money mm. and you're sitting on it for a year, what are you going to do with it? You cannot yeah. buy a car. Mm. You mm. cannot buy a house yeah. because the tax office is going to look for the source of funds. Yeah. And how are you going to prove the source of funds of the millions mm. that you withdrawn from the bank, whereby yeah. when the bank closes down and you don't have any any proof anymore mm. that, that uh, this, this money is legit. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a very thin line of how much money to keep in the bank mm. to be able to spend it but not too much because if the bank goes down you're going down with it yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's crazy isn't it you know that we're in this modern world of uh, high-tech finances and things everyone should be more safer but it's it's a very thin line it's veneer yeah. that it can just crack and then we're all done for Exactly. And I've not had a drink for 75 days, so it's kind of like <laughs> the worst 75 days. Not that I'm an alcoholic, I just wanted to go fresh, you know what I mean? And I feel more clear-minded, but you don't want to be clear-minded like this, you want to be mildly drunk at some yeah, point so in during, during these times, I think you definitely need that drink, right? Just to get, yeah. get you by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, so look, let's end it there. Um, thanks, everyone. This is the last one, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> um, safe. yeah, yeah, don't come to my apartment, I've got weapons. And, <laughs> and she's got she's got loads of money and canned goods and masks. She's got everything, so go yeah, to her right. place. All, all, all in investment in the distributed logic technology. Yeah, like, so. Mine's just a distributed toilet roll, that's it, man. Yeah, <laughs> okay. all my investments are in there. <laughs> all right, take it easy, everyone. See ya, bye. See ya.